Hey guys, it's me Bravo, and I'm back with another video. So today is going to be the first episode of a new series that I'm starting called Modder's Guide. So in Modder's Guide, I'm going to be doing little short tutorials on um, the Universal Minecraft Editor. So today we're going to be doing inventory modding, and I'm just starting off with like the easy stuff for the first few episodes so that I can get that out of the way, and then we can move into the harder stuff. So yeah, I already have this world loaded up, and we can go ahead and show you how to inventory mod. So right now, um, what I'm going to do is get a whole bunch of dirt, like I usually do, because why not? And then we could also get ourselves a chest. Actually, I don't need these extra two dirt. Alright, so if we get ourselves a chest, we can now mod our chest inside our inventory so when you place it down there's items already in it so let's say i place it down and then a whole bunch of diamond gear like comes out of the chest this is helpful for things such as like kits and factions or kit pvp and stuff like that so yeah hopefully you guys um learn a little bit from this tutorial and enjoy the video so now that we have these items in our inventory um, I'm going to take out my USB and put it into my PC. So, see you guys in a second. Alright, so now we're on the PC. And we just opened up the Universal Minecraft Editor. So now we just have to click your, your platform. I'm on Xbox 360, so we go ahead and click on that. And open up your world. So once you're in your world, you're going to want to click on your player. And once you're there you would see the word inventory you can just press this little arrow and you'll see all the items that are in your inventory or you could right click and press edit inventory this allows you to drag and drop the items to put them in specific slots in your inventory so if we want we could have a piece of dirt as a helmet <laughs> which is actually pretty cool actually let's, let's do that let's have a piece of dirt as our helmet i don't think you can do any of the other ones can you have full dirt armor okay uh we'll, we'll find out <laughs> once we go back to the 360 but for now let's um mod the other stuff in our inventory so we wanted to make it so that when we place down a chest it already has items right now there is no feature to actually quick mod it but hopefully there is in the future but what we have to do um, in order to do that is do a compound tag named tag and then another compound tag named uh, block entity tag. And it has to be like this or else it doesn't work. Like the capitals have to be where they're capital and then the lowercase have to be lowercase. And then once we're done with that, we can click on this list and name it items okay so now we're allowed to just drag and drop things well not drag and drop but copy and paste things into the item section and they will come up into the chest so now we have a piece of dirt in our chest so every time we place down that chest there will be a piece of dirt in it so let's change this piece of dirt into a diamond sword that's not how you spell diamond all right, so now that we have our diamond sword, we can go ahead and enchant it. So let's do looting, looting max. Well, not max because um, when you do max, it lags the game and it could possibly crash your game. So what I like to do is I put 255. It's big enough so that your game won't crash, but it's also big enough so that it's like too overpowered. So with looting 255, you will drop like two stacks of pork chops maybe and yeah so we could also do sharpness so that the pig can die in like one hit sharpness and we could leave it as 255 and actually what I wanted to do was go back into our inventory just right click and go into the inventory view and let's see if we can actually mod this item 
so that it has thorns and then when a zombie hits us we can the zombie will die just by hitting us you could use this for different servers like if you're the host or something and you don't want people to hit you you could do that so where's thorns we can find thorns real quick right here and 255 so hopefully that kills them as well as mm, protection all right so now that we have our thorns and protection we can go ahead back into the inventory view and drag our thorns helmet over here well even though it's a piece of dirt actually let, let me change it into a different block so that we know which block it is let's have it a diamond block all right so now if we go back let's see if we have the right helmet on yeah so our diamond block is the helmet and if someone hits us they'll probably die we could also make one of these pieces of dirt have speed on it but that's probably for like a different a different episode because I'm just trying to do basic inventory modding. And yeah. So I'm going to save this real quick. And then exit. And I'll be back once I'm in my Xbox 360. Alright. So we're back on the Xbox 360. And let's go ahead and load up this world real quick. And see if everything worked. So I really want to see if that diamond block does what I said it was going to do. So look, the diamond block is on our head, but unfortunately we don't have it on any other armor. Like technically we do have dirt, but it just doesn't show visibly. But it's still pretty cool just to have dirt as the rest of your armor slots. So we have thorns and protection 255. So if we get a zombie real quick and turn ourselves to survival, let's see if the zombie dies. Oh, it's daytime. Let me turn it to nighttime, zombie. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so since he's gonna just keep dying, let's actually get out our diamond sword, which should be in this chest. Oh yeah. So now if we kill you, oh my God, it dropped like three stacks, well, two and a half stacks of zombie flesh and a carry it. That's insane. All right, so let's spawn the zombie and turn ourselves into survival. So now it should wanna attack us. And the minute it hit us, it died. So look. I'm not doing anything. I'm looking away. Oh my god, that's so cool. So you could literally use this in a server so that people can't hit you. And you have 64 of them, so... Like, even if you hold it in your hand or something, they'll still die just by hitting you. And then we also have the OP sword, where you just kill a whole bunch of pigs or whatever you want, and you'll just get mad loot. Let's try this with wither skeletons, because I know they have like a really rare chance of dropping wither skulls. So I wonder if with this sword, can you even get a wither skeleton from the... No, you can't, right? Oh, well. Um, let's see. Let's do a pig, because I like killing pigs for some reason, because I'm savage. Oh, uh, wait. What? That one only gave us six. Okay, that one gave us a lot. That one gave us a stack and a half. And this one gave us about a stack. So yeah, it's kind of overpowered. I think you might be able to go to 300 without crashing your game. But I just put 255 because I watched a different video. And they said that that works for them. So I was like, let me not risk it and crash my game again. So I just put 255. And it seems to be working pretty well. Because look at the amount of pork chops I'm going to have in my inventory after this. That's insane. And our chest mod worked as well. So we have a double chest. It'll give us mad swords. And you can open the chest as well. For some reason, it's, it's going to always be on this slot. I don't know why that happens. But I don't know. <laughs> it's weird. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this short little episode. Tell me what you guys want to see next in the series. Um, I'm planning on doing modded villagers. And making it so that they can probably trade one of these chest items so that you guys can make your own faction server with kits and everything or just do villager simple villager trades as well so let me know in the description what you guys want not the description the comment section 
and I'll leave Oprise's Twitter in the description so if you guys still haven't had the chance to download this editor you guys can go check them out and yeah so don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me take off this diamond off my head and yeah so I'll see you guys in the next video bye